Hey guys, all right, we're getting close to the end here. Um, today we're going to do the cranial nerves. So our objectives today are to learn the names and positions of the cranial nerves in order from anterior to posterior. Uh, we'll also learn the foramen, they're in the cranium, through which the cranial nerves pass, and then we're going to learn the innervations and functions for each of the cranial nerves. Okay, next slide. So there are 12 cranial nerves. They originate on the ventral portion of the brain. So you get your brain, they come out the bottom side. They exit the cranial cavity through the various foramina to reach destinations in the head and neck. So you have to have holes in the skull for these things to get out of. That's, you know, nerves are soft tissue and the brain is very hard. So you have to have uh, these foramen for these uh, nerves to get out. The 12 nerves in order are olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibulocochlear, also called the auditory nerve, uh, the glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory or spinal accessory, and hypoglossal. So those are the 12 nerves in order from anterior to posterior. Olfactory nerve is cranial nerve number one. So that's olfactory, so you're, that's your sense of smell. Optic nerve is cranial nerve two, so that's your eyes and vision. Ocular motor, oculomotor is the oculo meaning eye, motor meaning mover. Trochlear, uh, trochlea means pulley, so um, we'll see why that is. There's actually a loop of, uh, of uh, connective tissue through which the tendon for that muscle passes and then it hits the eye. So, it, so the, that little loop is uh, referred so that the band of uh, tendon going through that little loop is uh, it works like a pulley. Then we have the trigeminal nerve. And so trigeminal, tri meaning uh, three and Gemini meaning twins. And so then we have the abducens nerve, which means uh, abduct, okay? So you're gonna lead the eye, it works on the eye, so it leads the eye away from the midline. So you have ab abducens nerve moves the eye. So, so this eye will go that way, this eye goes this way. Facial nerve is number seven. Vestibulocochlear is number eight. So that's the um, nerve of hearing and balance. Cranial nerve nine, nine is glossopharyngeal. Cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve, which means wandering. Uh, glossopharyngeal meaning tongue and pharyngeal meaning throat. Uh, but, um, cranial nerve 11, that's the accessory nerve that actually arises from the spine and goes up into the skull. We'll take a look at that here in a little bit. And hypoglossal meaning below the tongue. There's a mnemonic um, that uh, you can use easily to remember these. It's called On Old Olympus's Towering Top, A Friendly Viking Grew Vines and Hops. And you can't see the whole thing here, but it is on the other PowerPoint. So, so On Old Olympus's Towering Top, A Friendly Vi Viking Grew Vines. I'll write it up here. Vines and Hops. So, um, so we have olfactory, optic, ocular motor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibulocochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypoglossal. So there you go, in order. Um, some people may have learned a different way to substitute the word auditory for, um, for uh, vines. So an on old limbs, it's towering top of Finn and German viewed some hops. So you can uh, use that one. But I like the on old limbs, it's towering top of friendly Viking grew vines and hops. That's one I use. So anyway, next slide. Okay, so here's a table out of the old book, actually. Um, so with the names and numbers of the cranial nerves, showing where the, the distribution are, and, and what they do. So olfactory nerve uh, goes to the nose, the nasal mucosa, and it's for smell. The optic nerve goes to the eye, and it's, a, it's the back of the eye, and so it's the, the nerve that innervates the, the retinal cells and, and, the, and the retina, so, that you, so when light comes in, those activate, and that, those signals go to the brain. So the ocular motor nerve, number three, is uh, one of the main uh, nerves that moves, the, that uh, innervates the muscles of the eye. It actually innervates um, six different muscles uh, of the eye, so, and also uh, innervates one other muscle for the upper eyelid. So it's movement of the eyelid and movement of the eyeball and also um, constricts the lens as well as uh, the pupils. So, and then cranial nerve four is the trochlear nerve. So that moves a muscle called the superior oblique muscle of the eyeball. 
So it moves the eyeball and the trigeminal nerve. So there's three branches of it. You have the ophthalmic branch, the maxillary branch, and the mandibular branch. So ophthalmic up here, maxillary, and mandibular branch. Take my glasses off, it'd be easier. So ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular branch. That's so three branches of, of the trigeminal, trigeminal nerve. We have the abducens nerve. So that's the nerve is if you um, if your eyes and you look to the side, it, that's the that's the nerve is innervating the, the lateral rectus muscle, which moves the, the eye out to the side. And then we have the facial nerve, and that's the nerve that um, that moves a lot of the muscles of the face, as well as uh, some muscle of the tongue. So the face, scalp, neck, and uh, neck, some neck muscles, and uh, the front part of the tongue the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, lacrimal glands, where you cry, and salivary glands, salivation. So, so you have taste, facial expression, secretion of tears, and salivation. Vestibulocochlear, you have semicircular canals in the cochlea of the ear, so it's for equilibrium, so your balance and hearing. That's nerve eight. Number nine is glossopharyngeal, so the back one-third of the tongue, posterior one-third of the tongue, the pharyngeal muscles, the parotid gland is what, what that does. So we have taste, Swallowing speech and secretion of saliva. Then we have uh, cranial nerve 10, and these are all in Roman numerals. Uh, that's what those, these mark, in case you don't know, know Roman, Roman numerals. So this is that X is a 10. So vagus nerve, so we have pharyngeal muscles and the epiglottis, smooth muscles of the thorax and GI tract, cardiac muscles and glands of the GI tract. So you have taste and sensation from the pharynx and epiglottis for swallowing, coughing, voice production. Uh, smooth muscle contraction of GI tract slows the heart rate um, secretion um, uh, by digestive glands, all that kind of stuff. The accessory nerve, um, so the vagus nerve is called the wandering nerve. So you can think of it as vagrant or uh, yeah, vagrant. So it wanders around all over the place. Um, so it, it takes off and goes down and wanders all the way through the through the abdomen, thorax and abdomen. The uh, Cranial nerve 11 is accessory nerve. So that does muscles of the pharynx, larynx, and soft palate. Also does the sternocleidomastoid muscle and trapezius muscles. Trapezius muscles are the muscles that like in, in like fold layers, they have no neck. And this is, that makes that big kind of, they grow up and they get really big right back here. And then the uh, sternocleidomastoid muscle is a, um, you can figure out what that, where that attaches at least. The sterno, sternum, clido, clavicle, and mastoid, mastoid process up here, so it goes down, down to here, and the sternum, so it makes this kind of triangular shape down here, so you can bend your head over uh, using that, that muscle. The hypoglossal muscle uh, is mostly the tongue muscles for speech and swallowing. Okay, next slide. So the 12 cranial nerves, you can group them various ways. You can group them by function. There's three motor nerves for eye movement. Up, down, left, right, obliques, that would be three, four, and six. Two involves in taste, that would be seven and nine. And two for gag reflex, 11 and 10, I'm sorry, nine and 10. One for smell, one for vision, one with three branches for facial sensation and chewing. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the uh, trigeminal nerve also innervates the mastoid uh, muscle here so you, can, uh, for, for, so you can chew, so you can move your jaw up and down. Then one for facial movement, uh, so you can smile and uh, do all those things and raise your eyebrows. That's nerve seven. One for hearing and balance is eight. One for shoulder shrug, number 11, so you can bring your shoulders up. And uh, that's the spinal accessory. Then uh, for swallowing speech, hypoglossal. Or you can group them by type, uh, just sensory or motor. So three of them are sensory, which would be one, two, and eight. They're only sensory. Five of them are motor, that'd be three, four, six, 11, and 12. Um, the main function is motor. They have, some have, have little sensory receptors in them, but the main function is motor. And four of them are both sensory and motor, which would be five, seven, nine, and 10. So, so there's a way to remember um, in order what the uh, major function of these is. And the mnemonic that, uh, that I use is, some say merry money, but my brother says bad business, merry money. And I'll write that in also, merry money. But you can see that. Okay. So, um, 
So you're demonic. Some say merry money, but my brother says bad business merry money. So cranial nerve one is sensory. Cranial nerve two, sensory. Cranial nerve three is motor. Cranial nerve four is motor. Cranial nerve five is both. Cranial nerve six is motor. Cranial nerve seven is both. Cranial nerve eight is vestibular cochlear. That's the ear, so it's sensory. Uh, nine is both. Ten is both. 11 is motor and 12 is motor. So there you go. So there's your mnemonic for remembering uh, whether the sensory or motor nerves. Next slide. You can also group these guys by foramen. Uh, there's three nerves and one branch that exit the superior or orbital fissure, uh, which is uh, nerves three, four, six, and the ophthalmic division of uh, trigeminal nerve. That would be branch number one. Uh, three nerves exit the jugular foramen, which is 9, 10, and 11. One nerve exits the olfactory foramen, which is number, nerve number 1. One nerve, uh, olfactory nerve. One nerve exits the optic foramen, which is number 2. And one nerve, uh, the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve, so V, so um, 5, 2, not V, but 5, 2, exits the foramen rotundum. One nerve branch, mandibular branch uh, of the trigeminal nerve, 5, 3, exits the foramen ovale. One nerve exits the stylomastoid foramen, seven. One nerve exits the internal auditory meatus, which would be eight. And one nerve exits the hypoglossal canal, which would be 12. So they group, they're grouped by branches. There's no way you group them. Uh, one, one nerve has three branches, the trigeminal nerve. One nerve has two branches, the accessory nerve. And four nerves have parasympathetic fibers, three, seven, nine, and 10. So, so you, can, you can group them all, all these different ways. The, the best way to group these really, though, is, the, is just sensory and motor. And that's what I'm going to ask you on the test is whether these are sensory or motor. Um, I'm not going to ask you all this, this stuff that I've covered in these last two slides. I just want you to know that there's different ways of grouping and different ways of thinking about the cranial nerves. All right, next slide. So here are the cranial nerves of the human brain. Um, this is a picture from the old book, and but I, I like this picture. But... I, uh, in the next slide, I would put all the names on one side because I think the, this is the way the old book had it labeled and they went back and forth from right to left, uh, technically from left to right. And um, they and this look at the ventral view of the brain. Uh, and I didn't like the way they did that, so I put all I redid the slide and put them all on the same side. But I'm going to go over this just to give you a different way of looking at the cranial nerves. This um, picture will be in the uh, study guide as well as the uh, PowerPoint that I have. Uh, that I post online. So we have the, the uh, olfactory bulb and the olfactory tract here. The bulb is the part that sits above the nasal mucosa and um, if you remember the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone and those little tiny foramina. So the olfactory bulb sits right on top of that and has these little projections of nerve fibers that go down into the into the nose. Then you have, so that's so optic nerve number two. You have the optic chiasm here. Then we have ocular motors, nerve number three. We have trochlear nerve number four. We have trigeminal nerve number five, abducens nerve number six, facial nerve number seven, vestibular cochlear number eight, glossopharyngeal number nine, vagus nerve 10, accessory nerve 11, and the hypoglossal is 12. So, and you can see why I didn't like the slide because it goes right back, it goes back and forth between left and right. So let's go to the next slide and do them again. Next slide. Okay, so I redrew this one just to show you this thing. So here's the olfactory bulb and olfactory tract. Remember, a tract is a uh, group of fibers running alongside each other. So these are fibers, sensory fibers that are running from the uh, nas from the nose back into the uh, back into the brain. Back into the, they actually go into the diencephalon and the optic nerve number two. So and you have some fibers that come out and go this way some fibers that go across, some fibers that go out this way, and some fibers that go across here. And this part that's hanging down, that pink, that pink uh, ball right there is pituitary. All right, um, the ocular motor ner nerve number three is there. So there's three. And this is the trochlear nerve number four there. Trigeminal nerve is... Nice big fat nerve, so this is five here. Abducens nerve, six. 
facial nerve is seven. These get really close, so I'm not sure we'll be able to draw them on top of them very well. Facial nerve number seven. Vestibular cochlear number eight. Glossopharyngeal number nine is there. And then the vagus nerve number 10. Here. Let's see if I can get inside there. Okay. Accessory nerve number 11. It's here. And the hypoglossal nerve number 12. So, so we have the medulla oblongata here. This is the medulla. And the pons. Okay, so you, so you notice, and then this would be the diencephalon region here, this would be diencephalon. So you can see that a couple of nerves come out of there, but all the rest of them come out of the, the uh, medulla, pons, and midbrain region. So uh, moving up, so that would be the midbrain region up here, so midbrain. All right. So that's where all those nerves arise from. So most of the supreme nerves arise from the midbrain pons and medulla oblongata. The only ones that don't are the nerves one and two, um, olfactory and optic nerve. Okay, next slide. So here we are, the actual cadaver brain, look at the ventral side once again. We have the olfactory nerve, optic nerve, ocular motor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibule, cochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypoglossal. So I need to write, let me write those in, accessory. And hypoglossal. And you can see, if you look closely here, you can see that there's li these little tiny branches that are coming off of the, the, uh, the spinal cord. And those, those little branches come off and then they group into a fiber that goes actually up into the foramen, mag uh, foramen magnum. And so since it comes up and branches over right there, then since that one is right next to number 10, so that makes 10, that makes the spinal accessory nerve number 11, and the hypoglossal is, is, uh, originates down below that as you get closer to the um, foramen magnum. So you could, you could say that, the, you know, in some ways you look at this and go, well, the accessory nerve is actually more uh, ventral or caudal than, um, than the uh, nerve 12, but this is, this is how how it's, uh, it's, they've been uh, numbered is, is this way. So, so accessory nerve is 11 and hop glossal nerve is number 12. Okay, next slide. Okay, so we've uh, learned the, um, the names of the nerves in order and the function of the nerves. So we have on old, on old Olympus's towering tops, the friendly Viking group vines and hops. And some say merry money, but my brother says bad business merry money. So that gives you your cranial nerves in order and the functions of them in order. Now there's uh, the foramen and fissures that uh, that these um, nerves exit the skull from. There's eight openings for the for the nerves to exit. And these actually it actually isn't as bad as as you, as you might think. It looks really awful in the beginning, but the uh, olfactory nerve you already know that comes that those are coming out of the olfactory foramina of the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. So that's not uh, you learned that a while back, and that's not really a big deal. The optic nerve pretty easy. That kind of goes to the optic foramen. Okay. Now the ocular motor and trochlear, and uh, let's see, the abducens nerve, all come out of the superior orbital fissure, as well as the first branch of the trigeminal nerve. So there's so there's four four three nerves in a branch that come out of the superior orbital, orbital fissure. The number three, four, five, one, and six. Okay, and then the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve, so this is 5, 2, comes out of foramen rotundum. 5, 3 comes out of foramen oval. And then we have the facial nerve, number 7 comes out of the stylomastoid foramen. The vestibular cochlear comes out of the internal, internal auditory meatus, which should be easy to remember since the vestibular cochlear or the, or the auditory, auditory nerve should come out of the internal auditory meatus. The glossopharyngeal comes out of the jugular jugular foramen as well as the vagus nerve as well as the accessory nerve so all three of those 
come out of the uh, exits of the skull through the jugular foramen. And then a hypoglossal nerve comes out of the hypoglossal canal. So you can match these up pretty, pretty quickly. Optic nerve comes out of the optic foramen. If you go back to the olfactory nerve, comes out, comes out of the olfactory foramen. Optic nerve comes out of the optic foramen. And the um, hypoglossal nerve comes out of the hypoglossal canal. So you get there's, so there's three of them right there. Then you group the other ones, ocular motor, tr trochlear, trigeminal, branch one, and uh, the abducens nerve all come out of the superior orbital fissure. The uh, branch, the second branch of the trigeminal nerve comes out of foramen rotundum. The third branch comes out of the foramen ovale. And then you have uh, the, the facial nerve uh, comes out of the stylomastoid foramen. And then the, the auditory nerve of vestibular cochlear nerve comes out of the internal auditory meatus. And then three nerves, glossopharyngeal, the vagus and accessory come out of the jugular foramen. So um, if you work on those and just practice those, and I'll give, I'll give you drawings in the uh, study guide that you can actually write, write those things in and so that you know, you know what, what the, what the um, names of the uh, openings are. Um, and, uh, and on the test, I don't know, I'll, I'll just give you this on the test, I'll ask you what these openings are and ask you to label those on the test. Um, I'm not going to, I don't think I have any questions on there asking which ones go through which hole, although there might be, there might be, might be a question or two on that, or it might be a question on that, but, uh, but um, there are plenty of other questions to answer on, on a lot of topics on this next test, so, um, so, so. Just learn the foramen, and I'll leave you with that. So, next slide. Okay, so here's what here's where the foramen are. So the cribriform plate, optic foramen is there, and this is so this is just a two-dimensional flat view of the skull. Uh, and so in this oops, superior orbital fissure has three, four, uh, five, one, and six. Foramen rotundum has five, two. Foramen ovale has five, three. Internal auditory maze has seven and eight. It actually exits through that, and then it, the um, it, facial nerve seven goes through that, then it goes off into uh, what's called the facial canal, the temporal bone, and then exits through the stylomastoid foramen. So when it actually exits, skull comes out the stylomastoid foramen. And that's what this node on, on the right over over here is. Jugular foramen has nine, ten, eleven, and hypoglossal foramen has the hypoglossal nerve. So just know what these are. So we have the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone, the optic canal here, superior orbital fissure. Foramen rotundum, the uh, foramen ovale, the larger one there, the internal auditory meatus, the jugular foramen here, and the hypoglossal foramen there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight, eight holes in the skull that these things go out of. Okay, next slide. <clears throat> Here's a little more three-dimensional view of the skull. So you can see olfactory nerve one coming out of the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone, the optic canal uh, underneath this, uh, the wing of the, of the sphenoid bone. Superior orbital fissure is underneath the wing. You can't really see it very well. It's underneath the wing of the sphenoid bone there. Foramen rotundum is there. Foramen ovale is the nice oval one there. And then we have uh, the internal acoustic meatus is here. And it's actually, the bone is like, if you remember the skull, the bone is, is it's more vertical, and so the internal auditory meatus goes into the side. That's why you can't see it very well in the picture. Then they have the jugular foramen. It is also difficult to see. It's also somewhat vertical. You can actually see it a little bit better on this side. And the hypoglossal canal. Oops. Um, I circled the wrong thing. <laughs> There's hypoglossal. The jugular foramen. This is the hypoglossal canal. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, I think you know what I was talking about. All right, next slide. So here's the stylomastoid foramen. This is where the nerves, uh, facial nerve, nerve seven comes out of. That's what these uh, little sticks have been poked into. So there's the, stylo, this is the styloid process here. That's the sty, styloid process. Oops, can't see that one right on black. So pro process, uh, I can't write very well this thing. So this is the mastoid process right back behind it. So, so that's where the facial nerve seven comes out. Okay, next slide. 
here's just another um, picture showing the uh, the various foramen uh, through which all the cranial nerves pass. And I'm not going to spend any time on, on this slide because we've, we've gone over that on the previous slides. Um, next slide. Here's a um, cadaver, and they cut away, uh, did a transverse section across the skull, and then uh, an oblique section, uh, somewhat oblique section, kind of dug out part of the part of the brain here, so you could see um, the cranial nerves coming out. So we have the olfactory nerve, and shows the foramen, shows shows where they're heading towards the foramen there, and we have the optic foramen would be about here, so you can follow that little circle down there. Um, then there's three, four, five, one, and six oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, ophthalmic branch, so abducens nerve. That's the uh, location of the superior or superior orbital fissure. Remember, fissure is is long, and it's not round, but it's it's long. And then um, the uh, foramen. We'll go back on the left. The second branch of the uh, trigeminal nerve goes to the foramen rotundum. The third branch, um, the mandibular branch goes through the the foramen ovale, and then the, uh, let's see, there's seven, yeah. So facial nerve goes comes out of the stylomastoid foramen, and then the vestibular cochlear, um, you notice it is also going uh, through the internal ocular meatus at that point, then it exits out. It exits out to the ear, and the cell, the facial goes down. So they so they go in the same same hole, but then they, they divide, the facial goes down, Vestibular cochlear goes out to the ears. Then 9, 10, 11, we have the glossopharyngeal vagus and spinal accessory nerves, and that's the location of the jugular foramen. And then we have hypoglossal canals back here. Okay, and then they labeled the cerebrum and the cerebellum on the slide as well. So here's your cerebellum down here. So, okay, next slide. Um, oh, I just put the slide in here. This lists like all of the uh, arteries as well as the uh, nerves. You don't have to know those. Um, just know that uh, these foramen also allow arteries to enter and exit um, into the into the skull. Uh, well, some of the, some of these uh, these foramen allow arteries to come come into and go out of the skull. Okay, next slide. So, uh, so where do these cranial nerves go after they leave the cranium? Well, on this slide, uh, it lists all the all the nerves, and in blue, those uh, those lines in blue, those are sensory, and the red lines are motor. So the ol olfactory is sensory, the optic nerve is sensory. So, it, so the olfactory goes in the nasal mucosa. You can see that the optic nerve comes into the back of the eye, so that's innervating the retina in the back of the eye, and then the um, ocular motor nerve. There's um, comes uh, comes in as nerve number three, and that innervates uh, several muscles of the eye, six uh, six muscles on the, on the outside of the eye, and uh, then there's the uh, trochlear nerve, number four, abducens nerve, number six, and then there's the trigeminal nerve, and you can see it's sensory, it's doing the ophthalmic and the maxillary, sorry, and maxillary and the mandibular branches. Then we have nerve seven, which is uh, innervating muscles of the face, and um, which is down here. Also, the trigeminal nerve is also a motor, has a motor branch that innervates the mastoid, so for muscles for chewing. And nerve seven, um, the facial nerve, innervates muscles of the face. Then there's a there's another little nerve that's part of seven. It's called nervous intermedius, and it uh, does some uh, some of the tongue muscles. And then um, there's the, um, we'll go back up to the top left here, the vestibular cochlear nerve, then the glossopharyngeal nerve, the vagus nerve. You can see it wanders down all the way through the, the thorax and abdomen. And then the accessory nerve doing uh, some a uh, couple of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and trapezius muscles in the neck. And then you have the hypoglossal nerve down here um, doing uh, doing various uh, various neck and uh, or various um, pharyngeal uh, and the back of the tongue muscles. So hypo meaning below, glossal meaning tongue. So um, next slide. <clears throat> so here's a um, little abbreviated table, so it's not a, not as busy as some of the uh, previous table. 
the cranial nerve and the name, the, the nerve type. So is it sensory or motor or both? And then a brief um, description of the function. So you can use this if you want to um, to study the, uh, the to learn the, uh, the relationship of all these. So cranial nerve one, olfactory is sensory, two, optic sensory, three, ocular motor, motor, four, trochlear motor, five, trigeminal both, six, abducens motor, seven, facial both, eight, vestibular cochlear, sensory, nine, glossopharyngeal both, 10, vagus both, 11, accessory motor, and 12, hypoglossal is motor. So you have smell, vision, eye movement, facial sensation, abduction of the eye with the abducens nerve, facial sensation or facial expression from the facial nerve, vestibular cochlear is hearing imbalance, glossopharyngeal number nine is taste and gag reflex, 10 is gag reflex, parasympathetic innervations, um, 11 is accessory and shoulder shrug, and then um, a hypoglossal number 12 is swallowing and speech. Next slide. So in here I've put um, the mnemonics uh, along with uh, for the for the names of the nerve as well as the mnemonics for the function of the nerve. So you can use that as, uh, or make, or I'd highly encourage you to make your own um, table of this and just write these down so that you write down uh, the mnemonics so you can help, help you remember what the names are and the, uh, and the functions. Okay, next slide. Here's another uh, view showing them in order. So the olfactory nerve going to the, you know, the crib forward, Crib, crib reform plate of the ethmoid bone there and the little nerve fiber sticking down into the nose, the olfactory epithelium, and the optic nerve for the eyeball. Then you have the um, ocular motor nerve for eye muscles, trochlear nerve for one eye muscle, abducens nerve for another eye muscle. Then you have the trigeminal nerve for uh, innervation, for uh, sensory, uh, sensory innervation of the face and um, the chewing muscle and then uh, chewing muscles, and then facial nerve for the facial muscles, nerve eight for hearing and balance, number nine for the tongue and pharynx, number 10 for the um, thorax and abdomen, so the viscera, the organs, then uh, 11 for neck and shoulder muscles, and then hypoglossal for the tongue muscles, and a little bit by the back of the throat. Next slide. Okay, this is a book, out, I think this is a, out of your textbook, um, basically what, what I want to do, I don't want you to memorize this stuff. What I want you to know out of this is they grouped them in your textbook into the sensory nerves. So this is sensory cranial nerves. So we have olfactory, optic, and the vestibular cochlear. So you have one, two, and eight. And then they group them, oh, next slide, into motor. So here's a motor, motor cranial nerve. So we have three, we have four, we have six. So those, those are muscles for the eye. And next slide. And we also have more motor nerves. So here's a hypoglossal and the accessory nerve. So spinal accessory, leva, and... 12, well, they're written down here. Sorry, I was, I was writing them in. I just realized. <laughs> I was looking at the slide. Oh, they're already written in. Never mind. So, so th those are muscle, muscle nerves. And next slide. And then there's um, mixed nerves. So those are both sensory and motor. And so we have five and we have seven. So, so both of them have sensory and motor com components. Next slide. There's also some more mixed nerves, and you have um, seven and nine. Okay, next slide. And then one more mixed nerve. We have the vagus nerve, which is sensory and motor. Okay, and shows that shows all the organs that it's uh, vagus nerve goes in and wanders around and uh, finds all these different things to, to go attach to. So you see it falling down all the way down through here. So, okay, next slide. 